Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at mood units. Mood units from Rob Jackson. So Rob is here, you know, he, he makes Touchscaper. Uh, and mood units consists of an instrument here along the top, which is called Waverly. And it's sample based. And I'm sure uh, if uh, Rob will tell us which he used. He used M Moog. Moog synthesizers, genuinely his Moog synthesizers and Strymon pedals to create these sounds. And then there are also four effects, a delay, a reverb, an EQ. So a delay here and an e a reverb, sorry, an EQ and also a filter. And this is Waverly. So we shall go through it. I'm just going to play you a couple of sounds. Okay, so I will say hi to everybody who's here as well. Three Stig, Dean, Cy, Stephen, um, Colin. Hi, Colin. Um, Asdi, Asdi. <laughs> Has he changed his name? Asdi Fazzy? Right, okay. Uh, but, and, and anyone else I forgot? And of course, Rob. Welcome, Rob. Rob is here as well as developer. So this sound is epic. This first sound I have is a, um, let's see, it's, I'm going to check the instrument patch, patching. It's just the initial saw one here. So I'll open this up. You have some control over the instrument here, some control, but really it's just for, for basic sample manipulation and stuff like that. You, But we go through this, we'll go through this. Anyway, this is marvellous. It's just awesome. So I'll quickly tell you what instruments were used to make Waverly. Now, initial pricing is, I think, although Rob will correct me if it's wrong, but he's thinking the initial pricing, uh, it will be four ninety nine, but you get the instrument, the Waverly instrument as well, and you also get the four effects. And Rob has got big plans for this to expand it and stuff like that. So when he adds more packs as IAPs, etc., for Waverly, you can expand on these sounds that he has. Um, the instruments used for the Waverly were uh, uh, Mo uh, Moog Minotaur, uh, Moog Sirin, two Mother Thirty Twos, and effects were. Uh, Strymon, Deco, El Capi, Capistan, Timeline, Dig, and Big Sky. So, yeah, awesome stuff. But it is sample-based, obviously, so they're meant to be, like, kind of quick fixes, quick, you know, instrument sounds. But you are getting that Moog sound. So I'm going to take the delay out the first one to start off with, and then we'll open the Waverly instrument. Where's my blinking mouse pointer gone? Here it is. We'll open the uh, instrument. Now, if you hit instruments here, you can access all of the parameters, or you can access them individually here like this. So if you hit instrument and then hit it again, you can get access to all these parameters here, and you have tremolo, LFO, pan, vibrato, 
You have a, a filter envelope and an, a, an amp envelope as well. And then you can, you know, go between the preset here or you can open the toaster and then we can just choose different instruments. So raw waveforms, if you like, so very nice. And if you wanted a filter on that, for, for example, we could go here and that we could add the move filter. So if we just double tap on that line, we can add another audio unit. And I shall add the filter, the lock or filter. Nice and creamy. Then you could add a delay back in if you like. Let's open the delay and let's choose kind of a tapey haze, it's called this this one. I'm gonna run the feedback a little bit less than that. And the mix. You can sync it up to the BPM. And then you can go. epic on this because it doesn't kind of start to cause a feedback loop so if we drop the delay out again and the filter have a look at a few more sounds a saw drift I will just address something as well uh, as well. Rob has not abandoned Touch Caper at all. Oh, spiders here, spider. Oh, iOS track on. Russ is here. So you get a lot of really nice sounds. Let's have a listen to this one. Let's turn this down. And this is with this sound is the stereo source. Now all the bass sounds are mono. Let's just see, find out where we are. So this sound is stereo source, and I'm going to demo the reverb as well here. So we'll turn this up and take the reverb out. <laughs> This is great. That's lovely. 
So let's blend. Let's put the delay back in for this one. in there let's fix that quite high long decay going for the spacey vibe here Dean. Hi, Hard Park. Vangelis said on with this so what's nice right so let's change that to spacey let's run this down is this the one I've just changed to spacey yes it is let's just solo this channel let's take the delay out <laughs> is here as well it's just that he won't be by a keyboard for a few more minutes so you can already guess that Waverly is giving you access to some really nice basic bread and butter sounds without you having to do any work of course you can have a mess around with these. And it's using Apple's core system for a use for this. So we have saw drive. Oh, well, it's a, it's an instrument and four effects. Uh, it's sample based but Rob is going to be expanding this so it's not a synth it's not Red Sky it's not a synth it's a rock it's, it's a sample based rock but he used Moog's his own Moog's and Strymon's load samples into it not yet anyway Dean I wish Rob would only up and find his keyboard Can't stream in stereo, Rusty. Sounds nice in stereo.
This is, yeah. Well, this is one instance of the... Actually, it's... No, it's so loaded. It's one instance of the synth and one reverb. One mood unit reverb. So... <laughs> Rob's here, Rob's here, Rob's here. Ask Rob your questions. Ask, ask, ask Rob quick, quick. I love that warm, long decay echo. clean wave I'll tell you exactly what synthesizers Rob used. Um, he used a Moog Minotaur for the basses, a Sirin, a Moog Sirin. He used two Mother 32s. And then in Waverly on the affected patches, which I shall show you, he it was it's all Strymon stuff. So Strymon, uh, Deco El Capistan, um, Timeline, a Dig, and a Big Sky. And I shall show. I'll, I'll play you a few of those, the effects patches. So when it goes down to like, you've got all this cool bass stuff and all this other stuff, and then you've got bass saw, bass squares. Apart from the basses, Dean, everything is polyphonic. So. so you've got tons of that Moog depth. But if we, if, if we go down a little bit further down here it's got all this cool stuff like stereo stores and
stereo squares and this is again i've taken the effect out lovely with the reverb <laughs> Then we could run the filter. It also has an LFO. releases in here but this is don't forget it's a sample it's based on samples it's not like a simple here's your release <laughs> You turn that filter off. So let's go to uh, Unstable Shimmer. So this is an affected patch. I will just for um, I'll take the actual of uh, any effects that I've put in there out zodiac galaxy <laughs> There are, there, are, there are 50 sounds in Waverly at the moment, but Rob is releasing some IAP packs for that, and I guess he's got other ideas for the apps as well. He may add some more effects, etc., etc. You'd have to ask him. Uh, but the initial price idea was four ninety nine, and for four ninety nine you get Waverly, which is the sample based. You do get some controls, a fair few. You get tremolos. <laughs> You get some other stuff, you know, so you can control the instrument this way more or less.
I'm just, no, I'm not actually sure of the, of the actual size, gigabyte-wise. I never pay attention to that when I'm installing apps and stuff because I just move stuff off. Oh, 700 megs, nothing these days, nothing. I only start to get concerned when I see 10 gig. I just offload it. If I haven't used an app for a while, it just goes off to the cloud and then when I want it back, just reinstall it again and unload something else. It's, it's the best way. That's not too bad, is it, Walt? This sounds great. These are very cinematic. And here's Rob's favourite. Here's the developer's favourite. The developer's got a favourite. You know what this might sound like? This is kind of like... I don't know if you remember the original the, re, the original Alien movie. It's similar to a little motif that was kind of part of that movie. I, I always loved that. This this particular little... It's not really a motif. It's a couple of chords, but they echoed the strings, the orchestral bits, but it's just lush. But this might sound really nice with that really long delay that I liked already on it. Super duper, maybe not quite so much feedback. Uh, a little bit on the mix with that, uh, re with the effect that's already on there as well. This might sound quite nice. So, sounds like this as well and with delays like this what I like to do is if I hold a note I'll either pitch bend up or pitch bend down just before I release the note so you get this or this which is really nice at the end of a synth solo Oh, is iOS track on off? Oh, see you later, mate.
the blend of all of them now. I uh, just for uh, it, we've got on this one an affected sound. So I will change the sound on this one to a different one. It's granules. So now this one would be okay. And I'm going to put the reverb in. So it was a room reverb. So I'll have a look at the EQ. You have four, four, four range. You have bass, lower mids, upper mids, and treble, and then some settings. I just messed with these to suit this sound. We've looked at everything else, the filters stuff. So with all of these playing together now. So it's a good point now to keep an eye on the CPU, which has got what well, we've got four, five, six, eight, nine, ten mood units running at about 34%, 35 full poly.
go. <laughs> Pre-release locker, they just simply awesome mood units. Just brilliant, brilliant. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Steve. You can't, you can't, you, you know, you can't. This is, it, this is really, really good. But don't expect to get it and go, I'm going to program this thing. It ain't that. It's not that. This is what we've done in 40 minutes. You, What lovely sounds, you know? And don't forget, Rob is expanding on all this stuff. But you still have, like, your basics, your, your filter envelopes, amp envelopes, um, all that kind of stuff, you know? You've got LFOs, RMLOs, and then you have the four effects. Like that. Rob, are you adding more effects? Is that the plan? Is that the plan to add more effects and stuff? What's the spec of the iPad? Dub? Oh, this. This is just a, de this is a dead standard 2018 iPad 9.7. It, it, it's got the 128 gig storage, but that's nothing to do with the, the, the power thing. It's the absolute entry level iPad, like look, just over 300 quid, dead basic. My logic is that if it works on this, it will work on everything. You know, otherwise, if, if I was to have gotten a, you know, I might get a better iPad in the future, but I think probably most demos would be done on the most basic one I could have. Because it makes more sense to me that more people are going to have... If you've got, like, the basic iPad, right, or the basic piece of equipment, then this and everything above it is going to be absolutely fine, isn't it? So no one's going to come back to me and go, well, I can't run five of them on my iPad. And I'm thinking, well, they can't ever come back and say that because if it runs on this, it'll run on anything. So that's, that's the idea. I mean, this is insane, Nicole. Uh, rule of thumb is that romplers and samplers are usually quite juicy, but this is quite good. Anyway, thank you, Rob, for letting us have a pre-release, a pre-release look, um, a pre-release look at mood units. So I was just reading the chat feed. I, I hope all of you rush out and buy, buy this and support Rob because, you know, he make, does amazing stuff with Touchscaper, which is just insanely good, as you know. Massive fan of Touchscaper. Massive Touchscaper fan here. And I guess most of you are as well. But it's a marvellous thing, I think. As, you know, I mean, I, to be honest with me, I like presets anyway. You know that. So, you know. Anyway, time for the After the Show show. We have one track to play, one brand new track from the Doug and Colin album, the fourth, soon coming. But we are only playing Getting Money because wait until you hear the live stream of the album in stereo. Yes, when we release it and whenever we release it, <laughs> we're still working on it. But we have another track to do. We have a track, a track of Collins this time that I added stuff to. So if anybody is interested... Anyway, look, look, here's the thing. We're done with mood units now. Uh, if if any of you would like to go away now, if you were only here for mood units, then that's absolutely fine. Um, but now it's the after the show show where I like to play some music and things for a couple of minutes. And uh, didn't have time last night. The Matrix group took over the whole show and more. And uh, yeah, so our oh, excellent stuff, excellent stuff. So you're gonna hear the track, albeit in mono. And although it is mixed, it is not mastered. So. We need to go and find um, Dropbox. Yes, because it is in the um, don't have previous albums. Um, it is in this new. Here we go. Um, do, 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 it's in here. D D Doug and Colin Cinematica for T-Rex. So it's in here somewhere. And this is what we've got ready so far. So these are ready to... These are ready to master. I think there's, what, 10 of them? So these are ready to master. So... Um, but <laughs> you all right? Hey. You all right? Yeah, I'm going down. Oh, are you? Yeah. You're going down? Yes, now. You are. Uh, you know. Joe said she's going down. See <laughs> 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 so what I did there. <laughs> right. Okay. I can't cope. All right. So here's the uh, who am exactly where. <laughs> Your time yet, Joe? <laughs> I can't cope. So anyway, this is called. Oh, you, you're absolutely one hundred percent welcome, Robin. You know I love your stuff. Um, but it's a blast being able to see stuff before it comes out. It's really cool. 
make this way to, do you know what i'm not I, I i try my best to keep it tidy but you know there are like things if i if i'm just in in like the the, the, the files page well i'm into the what it's here but it is an awful lot of it it's kind of just hanging around you know anyway it doesn't, doesn't matter where the hell have we gone now oh here we go the cinematic but i do try to keep it tidy um right okay here it is this is called a day a day in a life uh, and this is one of colors that, that i have now added my bits to so it, although it's mixed now it's not mastered so you know it will sound and of course again i have to stress that it's in stereo uh, mono uh when you actually hear when we do the pre when we do the live stream preview thing it'll all be in stereo and everything like that and a day in a life right a day in a life a life in a day oh it's a day in a life see i've even spelt it wrong so it's a day, a life in a day, a life. Oh, that's right. That's what I, a life in a day, a life in a day, not a day in a life. Oh no, it's not Beatles. Right. Anyway, here we go.
yeah, I really like that. I really, I really like that track. It's really nice. It's really very nice. It's very nice, very nice. I got, I had the wrong file thing, didn't I? Look, look. So I'm trying to look at this one. That one. This one here. Uh, we organize things in different folders. Obviously, this is the the, the construct uh, for the album, bits and pieces. So. This is everything that was kind of involved so far. So this is all the zip files, the backwards and forwards, the to and fro files and stuff like that. So there's a, there's a lot of the same kind of file repeated. And then eventually it all ends up in the T-Rex file, uh, where eventually they will go transferred onto the desktop and mastered in T-Rex. But yeah, um, very cool. So oh, should we listen to another? Pick another one, Colin. Pick another. Pick another. Pick another. We'll have another. Li we'll have another. I'll listen to another one we've got here. We've got what we got. Events from time. Good events from time. Um, pick another. I thought the. F I thought a great flute sound on neutron. Oh, do you know that's the trouble, isn't it? With since they don't have memory, you have to make sure you write everything down. There's some good. I had some good sheets printed from the internet from for. Uh, the thingy and ship to shore part two ship to shore oh christ where's that bit ship to shore i'm in the t-rex thing again i might have put some things in the wrong thing is this it ship yeah this will this is it ship to shore part two this is a shorter version of ship to shore which is 10 minutes this is only like three minutes somewhere i think um so yeah three minutes 21 so this is ship to shore part two One more before I go. 
I don't know which one to play. Wait, have we, I think you've heard most of them now, to be fair. But we can play we can play one anyway. Colin, uh, do you want to pick another one? Have, has everyone heard the, 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 the terrorist coming? With the, the, the finished, well, not the finished, the pre-mastered version. The terror, the terror is coming. Did we have we done that one? The terror is coming. I don't think we have, have we? I don't think we've done this one with with Collins or Collins bits added. I'll play the terror is coming. Very very disturbing, <laughs> very disturbing track. This is. It's quite. There's parts of this album that are kind of very upbeat and kind of the kind of parts that are very 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 disturbing. We 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 spent quite a lot of time on. There's a lot of environmental stuff going on here, a lot of special kind of special effects, and they kind of take time to do. You have to keep layering effects upon effect. Think like Colin's crazy mad guitar in that last track, which is just lovely. Um, which is kind of why it's cinematic. And it was, I guess, the idea was to be like if you were watching them, uh, work best with visuals, but with the bits added because if you were actually soundtracking something, the last thing you want to do. Is for the music to detract from the picture, obviously. So, it, because there's no video that goes with this, or no movie, or or whatever, you have to kind of make it a little bit more interesting for the listener. So, in stereo, it's amazing. So you'll hear all that when we do the album as a, as a, a live stream. You'll hear everything in stereo. It's it's much nicer. Anyway, here we go. So this is the terror is coming, and uh, with the. Colin, it says frozen mammoth. What it was is Colin sent me the file back, and he'd used mammoth, and I didn't have mammoth on my iPad. You know, mammoth basing, it's in the cloud. But it unfortunately, Cubasis doesn't tell me which actual uh, AUV3 is missing. So it just says there's an AUV3 missing, and it just plays the file without the thing. So I sent it back, and Colin froze all the bass stuff with uh, the bass line, and this is incredible. I, I, I kind of hope it picks up over the um, um, mono feed, but anyway. <laughs> Samples, it's an instrument.
one more and then I'm definitely going. <laughs>
actually realised I have got one more short one to play. Do you know? Do you remember the other day I posted a track on on YouTube? And it's uh, like a thing with a the forest thing called uh, the Forest of uh, the Forest of Forgotten. I think it's Forest of Forgotten Sorrows. Um, yeah, the Forest of Forgotten Sorrows, right? And we we've decided to put it on the album because Collins added loads of bits to it. So. Um, just one more track, honestly, because I didn't really want to go and have me tea. Um, so this is the Forest of Forgotten Sorrows, the the album version, which will go on uh, with Colin. I did some amazing, amazing stuff too. I like, truly brilliant. Um, so uh, I'm going to play this for you, and then we're definitely, definitely going to go. But this is lovely, uh, really, really good. Uh, so if any of you heard the original version, um. You'll know. I'm not going to play the original now. I'm just going to play the, the, the finished version, the pre-mastering, of course. But there you go. So this is the Forest of Forgotten Sorrows. The Forest of Forgotten Sorrows. Uh, no, well, not midi summer. This was all done. The, all the percussion and the uh, uh, the duck was done. The ducks, the flute thing was done in um, Reason or Cubase. I can't remember. Reason, I think it was Reason. And it's uh, for, uh, Forest Frame Drums from Impact Sound Works doing some of it. And then they do another instrument called the Quran, which is loads of Iranian instruments. And it's one of the percussion instruments in that is doing. So it's all played and then looped kind of thing and just added to yeah brilliant stuff and the, all the reverbs on the the desktop stuff that i did where uh, it is even tied but it's not black hole it, it's one of the um do you know i honestly can't, can't remember what it is but because they do some older ones as well but anyway yeah very nice very nice very very cool stuff 
anyway, uh, guys, I'll let you say ta to each other for a few minutes, and I will see... I won't be live streaming tomorrow evening. Um, so I will see you again on Thursday evening, where we shall take a look at... Who knows? Something interesting, I guess. I did have... I did, do you know what? I do know what it is, but you know, I could, I've, I've written it down somewhere, and I've forgotten. What I'm doing on Thursday. Who knew? Right, anyway, don't matter. Right, guys, uh, thanks. And thanks to Rob for letting us uh, have a pre-release at um, the mood, mood units here, which will be out this week, apparently. Excellent stuff. Cool beans, top job. I'll see you guys later. Ta-da. -da.